Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This video is a weird one, but I saw um, Brittany Bailey do this like a long time ago. It was like six months ago or whatever, but I thought it was kind of interesting to see what people go through when they have a hangover and how um, they make themselves look presentable and fresh looking. So today I am kind of, as we would say in Sweden, Bakis. I had a few drinks yesterday and if I didn't have anything to do today I would stay in bed the entire day but I'm going on a photo shoot and later today I am going on an event so I have to do something about this face, this hair and everything about myself today. So the most important things to think about is to hydrate Moisturize, have a shower, which I have. I have not washed my hair though because I kind of like the look of my hair when it's gross and yeah. I will start off by doing my hair and I just want my hair out of the way pretty much. So I'm going to do a hairstyle that I have been doing a lot lately and I will of course show you how I do it. First off, I have already used some dry shampoo. Obviously, you need it. It makes your hair look fresh and also smell fresh <laughs> which is very important so what I'm starting off by doing is dividing my hair into parts I'm taking a small elastic like this and I am taking the hair and making a loop a very small loop and then using the elastic And wrapping it around two times like that and then I'm pretty much just taking this hair and shoving it into this part of the hair Alright, so a lot of you probably hate this hairstyle, but I think it looks cute. And it's really nice to just have your hair out of the way, not on your shoulders or whatever. And it looks way cuter when you do have makeup on, so don't you worry if you hate this. But I do actually usually wear a hat with this. So this is how it looks with the hat. Always have water on hand. Drink a lot, a lot of water. I have already used a face oil to moisturize my face. Hemp hand cream is the best hand cream ever. And of course, moisturize your lips. And again, hemp from the body shop is the best. Hashtag former body shop employee and not spons. <laughs> the best primer for dehydrated skin is the Kat Von D hydrating primer. It is so good. So I'm going to put this on my face. Oh, and also I have these nails. I hope you can see them. They look amazing. I think they are so cute and they are actually like a uh, just press on nails that I got sent. I can link them down below. They are very, very cute and so easy to just like stick on when you have gross nails. Because I saw you on my latest video said that I had gross nails. Next up for foundation, I am using the NARS Sheer Glow. This is my ultimate, ultimate favorite foundation. It always looks good however I apply it, however my skin feels that day. It gives a nice glow without being too glowy so you look kind of sweaty, you know? It's just the perfect, perfect foundation. Using a brush I feel gives a lot more coverage, so that is why I like it as well and it just goes on faster because that is also a thing. You probably don't have that much time if you are going somewhere because you have been laying in bed and, and not wanting to get out of it. <laughs> if needed I would totally color correct uh, before using foundation. I would use like a peachy color underneath my eyes and a yellow one where I'm red um, but I didn't really need that today obviously I do not have a huge hungover today because if that was the case I would not do this video but yeah 
So for concealer, I'm going to go in with this one. This is in the um, uh, this is the Rimmel Match Perfection in Ivory. It's not as high coverage as my other concealers, but it does have like a really nice hydrating formula. It doesn't really dry out your skin, which is the key to your makeup today. And now for powder, for some of you, I would totally recommend not to use any powder at all. But I am very, very oily, so I really do need some powder. So I'm going to go in with the blotting powder from Makeup Store. It's just good to not give any more color and it's very light, so it doesn't like uh, get cakey or anything. It just takes out the shine, which I need. And now for bronzer, I would just go in with a matte bronzer because you do want like a fresh look but you do not want to look sweaty or anything like that. So I would do a matte bronzer and then go in with just a tiny bit of highlight. For blush, I would suggest to use one that you know that you love and just pack on like a bunch of it just because it makes you look a lot more healthy and not dead looking. I am using Serene from Sigma, which is my ultimate, ultimate favorite. I will of course go in with a highlight, but not too much. This one is the Moon Shadow in Peach from Makeup Store. It's not as highly pigmented and bright as my other, as you guys can see. It's more like my skin tone by like a peachy shade. So it just looks fresh and not too like out there. For brows, I want a softer look to them today. So I'm using the Three Brow um, Shadows from Makeup Store. And I am using the middle shade. Like that, and of course I'm using some like, Gimme Brow from The Benefit. A super important step for me at least is eye primer. And that is just because my eyes get watery. I have very oily eyelids and it's even worse now. And Urban Decay is really, really good. I don't like it for uh, a normal day, but for today, it is the best option. And now I will apply a flesh tone matte shade. This is a cream color from Nava and it's called Morning Glory. And it's just nice to uh, pack on a cream shadow when you don't really have that much time. It just looks very fresh and natural, I guess. So I'm going to use this pretty much all over my lid. And then, just to get some dimension into the eye makeup, I am going to go in super quick with a um, like matte brown shade. I'm going to use this one, and this is in the new NYX um, eyeshadow palette Golden Hour. Perfect filter. And I am just going to use this in the outer corner and crease. Very, very slightly and quick. Because I do not have time. And of course, you guys know I am nothing without my winged liner. So I will go in with a felt tip liner in a waterproof formula. This is from LA Splash. It's great and it stays on the entire day. And I'm just going to do my winged liner as usual. If you do not really use uh, eyeliner for an everyday, then just skip this because... If I could, I would, and of course I, I don't have to do it, but I want to. <laughs> now I will curl my lashes and then apply the Makeup Forever mascara, Smoky Stretch mascara, and only on the upper lashes. Because, as I said, I am very teary, so I don't really use anything on my lower lashes. Next up, I'm using a eyeliner, and this is from Neve Cosmetics, and it is called... 
illusion and I use this in my waterline just to cancel out the redness in my eyes and now I don't think I will use some I don't think I will use false lashes in this look I might do it afterwards but let's go on to lips and I'm going to show you two lip options the first one is from Kat Von D and it's their everlasting liquid lipstick in Lolita All right, so this is the first lip option, uh, Lolita from Kat Von D, as I said. And it's just a nice, darker, warm-toned nude. So, in my opinion, I think it looks very fresh and uh, still natural. But, as always, I do want to use a bright color. And why I really like to use bright colored lipsticks is when I don't feel as good looking or fresh or whatever, I like to do a very fresh lip option and uh, this one is flamethrower from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and one of my favorites so I will show you this as well all right so this is the second lip option and this is flamethrower from Jeffree Star and this is my favorite I don't know about you but I think it looks really cute and fresh looking I love orange lipsticks so it might be just me, but who knows. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and I really hope you guys got some tips and tricks on how to look fresh when you are not feeling very fresh. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope we'll see each other in my next video. Bye!